Hey guys, Tacos Spragowski here, and today we're going to do a review of the Antec P70 Silence case. Silent. Like you can't hear it. Whisper Ninja. <laughs> to start, you get a minimalistic black mid tower with no front grille and a hidden Antec logo. Right away, glancing at the case, you know this was meant to be on this floor with two angled USB 3.0 ports at the top. There are big power and reset buttons along with a three port fan controller. Going around to the side, you have a bulged out aluminum side panel that's low gauge but still solid enough. Cleansing around to the back, you see a standard back layout with water cooling grommets. Overall, so far it's a very standard solid case, but the top is where some magic happens. There's an easily removable top filter that accommodate a plastic shield if you want the case to be quieter. If you care more about performance, don't worry, you can still throw two fans or a 240mm radiator at the top. Along with that, you could also put a 240 at the front and a 120 at the back. As we go inside, I notice a few issues to start. The little foam binding ring tabs were quite a bit off. I'm not sure whether this was because this was a review unit, but it was something my eyes were definitely drawn to. Another thing I noticed was where they cut corners. To start, all the metal is a very thin gauge, and I can bend it with my hands. This isn't a problem with sitting under a desk, and not a problem for most people, but I wouldn't feel comfortable shipping a PC in this case. I also noticed the lack of room for cable management. There was at most half an inch to put cables. Now, I know this is a bold side panel for a reason, but I'm not a fan of having to rely on them. Now that you have a good idea of what this case looks like, let's get to more of a review. Okay, so now you guys have a good idea of what it looks like. Let's get to those pros and cons. So we're gonna start with the pros because I like pros. You know, those are definitely the better ones than the cons. Definitely the better ones. First pro, the filters. Holy crap, those filters are awesome. They had washable filters. They had filters everywhere that you would need filters. This thing keeps dust out of your components and that's great. It also had really cool polycarbonate dampening for, you know, noise and stuff. And that's also pretty sick. One of the few little creature comforts I was actually really impressed about that they included was the little motherboard audio post connector thingy. Um, especially because I think this case will be used by a lot of first time builders. I'm really glad they included something like that. I was also really impressed by the little rubber um, covers that they put on the USB 3.0 ports and the audio ports. I don't know if that's because on their end it helps decrease DOAs, but I don't know, it's pretty sick. Another pro was the fact that there was three fans. Three fans in a budget case. I mean, you don't see that very often. And lastly, I kind of talked about it already, was the budget. It's sub $60. Can't beat that. And the cons. I don't like cons. It had a pretty thin gauge of metal. I mean, I could kind of bend that stuff with my hands and a little disheartening if you ask me. I don't really like to try to bend my own cases. There was also no cable management grommets, which could rip components over time, you know, when you try to push through cables and there's no little rubber things in the corners of the case and they're also not chamfered, so it could very easily scratch off some insulation from a cable and could short out an entire system if you really mess it up. I mean, it'd be hard, it's not their fault, but it's something to be, you know, considering. There's also very little room for cable management in the back. Now, if you're just doing a, you know, simple system, you know, graphics card, six pin power, and you're not expecting to, you know, hide every single little cable, you're not expecting to have a bunch of sleeved extensions, it'll be fine, but you get crazy back there and it's not gonna be good. And lastly, I wasn't a big fan of the cheap feeling plastic on the front. I mean, I just don't like cheap stuff. I mean, when I press the power button, it just kind of felt cheap. But if all those cons didn't scare you off too bad, I think you should buy it. No, but seriously, guys, um, if you have $50 and you have an Amazon account and you need a silent, cheap, awesome metal case that has two USB 3.0 ports on the front, then you should buy it. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Tackle Spragowski here, signing out.